What's up, everybody? Welcome back into the Tide Talk Podcast. Stacey Blackwood here. Real quick today, going to talk a little bit about the national championship game coming up on Monday night against the Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, looking forward to that matchup, obviously. Cannot wait to discuss this further with Jake uh, on the podcast here in a couple of days. Before that, congratulations to Nate Oates and the men's basketball team as they defeat Florida in Gainesville tonight uh, by a score of 73-60. to Big-time road win for Alabama. Uh, really good, really good start to SEC play for the Tide as they beat Tennessee last week, Florida today, and they will travel to Missouri on Saturday, hoping to start three and zero in conference play. Uh, so congratulations to Nate Oates and the men's basketball team there. Uh, so like I said, we're going to be talking about this uh, album and Georgia matchup. Uh, we'll be talking about it the rest of this week, but I wanted to get a quick video out and just talk about, you know, kind of ask you guys a question so y'all can jump in the comment section and, and kind of tell me your thoughts just on a couple different items. Uh, the first question I want to ask is, will Brian Robinson, coming off his massive performance against Cincinnati, you know, two, over 200 yards rushing, career day, nearly eight yards a carry, can Brian Robinson rush for 100 yards or more against this vaunted Georgia defense? Jump in the comment section below and answer that for me. While you're in the comment section, give this video a huge thumbs up, share it, like it, you know, subscribe to our channel, whatever it is you need to do. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and also jump in and subscribe in podcast form as well. You can find us on Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, just wherever you find great podcasts, you can find the Tide Talk podcast. So will Brian Robinson reach 100 yards against the Georgia Bulldogs? He had 55 against them in the SEC championship game. But of course, you got to remember he had a banged up uh, leg in that in that contest. So he was not 100 percent healthy. You can tell now that Robinson is fully healthy healthy or as healthy as anybody can be, you know, in this part of the season, he's playing well, coming off a strong performance. Can he duplicate that? Not duplicate that, but can he have another really good performance against a great rush defense that Georgia will bring to the field on Monday night? So excited to see how B-Rob, you know, kind of, you know, prepares and, and gets ready for this game coming up after that massive career performance against Cincinnati in the semifinals. The next thing I want to talk about is, is the wide receiver position. We all know about Jamison Williams, and we also know that John Mechie is going to be out for this contest. So what guy is going to step up? We see Ja'Cory Brooks catch a long touchdown pass against Cincinnati. I think he had 66 yards against the Bearcats there in the semifinals. Can he continue to grow and develop and be that – Number two target for Bryce Young in this Alabama offense. Can Slade Bolden improve his production? Can Jaleel Billingsley and Cameron Latou, you know, improve their production as well? So it's going to be critical not just to replace John Mechie, but just kind of, you know, maybe not one guy replacing Mechie, Mechie, but, you know, by committee. Can can Alabama use, you know, three or four different players to kind of fill that void left by John Mechie's injury? I'm looking at Ja'Cory Brooks. He seems like a guy who's starting to, to catch on. Uh, late here in his freshman season. Love his size at 6'3". Love his athleticism. He showed his ability with that long touchdown reception against Cincinnati. Of course, going back to that clutch touchdown catch that tied the Iron Bowl, that helped Alabama, you know, beat the Auburn Tigers uh, there in overtime. So, uh I'm looking forward to what Brooks can do, but I think it might be a you know by committee approach by this album offense. Uh, so my qu- my second question this this show is gonna this episode is full of questions. Uh, can Jacory Brooks uh, exceed the 100 yard receiving mark in this contest against the Georgia Bulldogs? Why for yes or in for no? And I would love any expl- explanation that you would like to give. And if you think somebody else may do that. Other than other than Jamison Williams, please let us know there in the comment section. So I'm excited to watch those couple things on the offensive side of the ball. Excited to see what the offensive line can do. They didn't give up a single sack against the Bulldogs there in the SEC championship game. Can they continue that type of success Monday night? That's going to be critical. So looking forward to that matchup there as well. Now I want to shift our focus to the defensive side of the ball real quick for just a, just a couple quick thoughts. Of course, Josh Job is out. Jalen Armour Davis is banged up. Will it be Kool-Aid and Kyrie again at the corner position? Wait and see on that. Excited to see kind of how that plays out. But I want to look at the safeties here. You know, we all know that Jordan Battle is, is one of the better safeties in all of college football. DeMarco Hellams, ever since he's you know gotten healthy from that ankle injury that he suffered in fall camp, he is playing the best football of his career. Daniel Wright is playing really good football as well off the bench and, and you know, the role that he plays. And Brian Branch uh, is coming off a career day against the Cincinnati Bearcats. Can they continue their good play? If the secondary, most specifically the safeties, 
uh, can play good against Stetson Bennett and the Georgia Bulldog offense. I have all the faith in the world that this defense can put up an, another fantastic performance uh, Monday night against Georgia. Then, of course, I like looking at our two uh, edge rushers in Dallas Turner and Will Anderson. Uh, they've kind of turned into the best edge rushing duo in the country, and it's crazy to think that this season started with when we were talking about Christopher Allen and Will Anderson as maybe the best duo in the country on the edge, and here we are using really technically our third string guy heading into the season, and he's up there, you know, I think seven and a half sacks on the year or so for the freshman Dallas Turner. What a great compliment he has been to Will Anderson. We all know that Will Anderson is the best defensive player in college football. You can make the argument he's the best overall player in college football. So uh, really excited to see what those two players can do in this matchup as well. Of course, we know that big Phil, Fidari Mathis has been a load up front. Byron Young's playing well. LeBron Ray is coming on strong after he's finally healthy after, after all these years of being, you know, banged up. Uh, at Alabama. So excited to see how all these guys play on Monday night. I don't want to go too long. Like I said, jump in the comment section, answer the couple questions that I, that I put out there. Will B Rob rush for a hundred yards or more? And would you, or, and would you Corey Brooks, uh, you know, catch for more than a hundred yards in this contest against Georgia? Why for yes and for no. And like I said, please feel free to explain your answer or give another guy that you think could have a massive performance for Alabama when they face off against Georgia for the college football playoff national championship on Monday night in Indianapolis. We're going to be here the rest of this week to cover uh, the, the championship game. We're excited to do a full game preview here in a couple days. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single episode of the Tide Talk podcast. Until next time, roll tide.